Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Technology with Bryant. Today, in this video, you'll see how to use a GCP, that is Google Cloud Platform, storage to back up Terraform state, so tell your Terraform can remember the state next time. And then we'll also see how can you use GitHub Actions to automate that. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and let's get started. Before getting started, Terraform source code files I will use in this video were previously created in the different section, different video, which is called automatically create, get a repository, enable print protection, and do more with Terraform with GitHub Actions. If you want to follow that and want to get it bootstrap, those files, please visit, visit this link URL, or in the same channel, you will be able to find this video. So that will help you get started. All right, so what are some prerequisites before following along this video and exercise? Here are prerequisites. You need to have installed Terraform in your machine. It's recommended to have version 1.15 and higher. You also need to have a Google Cloud Platform account, GCP account with administrator permission. Since you are gonna create a Google Cloud storage bucket, and also create a service account to access the bucket, you need to have a administrator permission. GCP gives $300 credit for a few months, about three months, so you can use that if it's the first time you use a GCP. Also, if you want to use a GitHub Action to automate it, you need to have a repository or an organization enabled with GitHub Actions. And just to follow along, you need to know how to open a terminal, and type in basic command, execute, execute command, etc. Very first thing to do is create a GCS bucket so our Terraform backend can use it. So here's a URL you want to visit to go to find out different Terraform backend state you can use. So you can see in the left when you click available backend, you can see a number of different things. You can see a S3 for AWS, Azure for Azure, and but what we want is a GCS for Google. This gives instruction on how to use it. So it's pretty simple. You need to define define bucket. Prefix is optional, but that will help to create it as directory so it can organize better. There's a different way to provide a credential. There's one way to do it by Google application credential. But the way we're using is going to pass credentials, which you will expect as a file, which you will, as you will see later, will be service account credential file. Now, let's go create a GCS bucket. We'll visit cloud storage bucket, and here's the option. You can see clear create a bucket option, so click that. And you need to name your bucket. We're going to call, call this GitHub, GitHub hyphen Terraform, but you can call it whatever you want. And you can set a label, which is optional. And you can decide where you want to put your place your bucket. So this matters if you want to your buckets to available right away. So just decide what you want. And you can define default storage class. I'm going to leave it as a standard. So go continue. And you can define how you want to access the bucket. So it's optional if you want to do a select public access or not. I'm going to unselect that. And how to protect object data, I will leave as default for now. So then we create a bucket and we our bucket now we're created. So we want to give this permission to this bucket. So let's try to do that later in the next section. We're going to create a service account, and then here's a way to do it. You search for IAM, and you can select service account. We'll give a service account some name. We're all going to call this Terraform hyphen GCS, and we're going to select permission for this. We're going to scroll down and try to find cloud storage. There's so many different permissions, so we'll search for that instead. storage further down 
we should see storage administrator so we'll select that and then we we'll continue and uh, we'll leave this for default for now and uh, we'll continue we're done with that Once your service account get created, we'll go to keys and we'll download the credential by creating add a key, create a new key, we'll save as JSON file. So we'll create it. This will download the file so you can use it for accessing your Terraform. So going back to bucket, we go to permission, we create a grant new access for this. We're we'll searching for our service account and we'll assign role. We'll go to cloud storage and give storage of object admin. And that's it. Here's our Terraform file. Again, if you're wondering where this is coming from, please check out our previous video which will cover this and how I create this. Um, so we will define backend state for the Google Cloud Storage. As you can see the bucket name, you can see the credential, which was renamed as credential.json. We'll start by doing Terraform in it. When you do it first time, if you just create a GitHub bucket, it might take a little time to for recognize because you will try to replicate it across multiple nodes for Cloud Storage. So if that happen, just try to initialize again till it comes up. Eventually it will set up and then again the reason why there's some delay because the Google Cloud Storage is trying to replicate replicate across multiple nodes because it's following eventually consistent standard. So now if we refresh in the Google Cloud Storage, you should see our default state file. And you can click download to see that this got initialized. Now going back to here, we try to update it by doing Terraform plan. Okay, that's good. They give a preview. So now we'll try to apply Terraform apply. So when you learn Terraform apply, it will take a little while to execute, but it will generate, it will create a state, it will create a repository, it will create issues, and it will update the state. So once everything is good and successful, you can then check back your Google storage backend. Now let's check our GCP backend to see the update. So here's our GCP. We we'll go to our bucket and we we'll refresh, go to our state file. We can check timestamp. Now we can click download and you can see our state got updated. Awesome. That's what you expect. So now you can remember the state next time, all about the repository and all everything else. Since we cover how to use Terraform to store Terraform state in the GCP backend, GCP cloud storage backend, now we can try to see how can even automate further using GitHub Actions. This is what this section is for. So here's our sample GitHub Actions file, workflow file. It's pretty similar to the what we showed last time in other video, but one key difference is that we are going to output our secret. So the file content you got as a credential for service account is storing as GitHub secret and is going to be output into the file. So then our Terraform is going to pick it up as a credential. Let's see other way to authenticate to GCS to our service account. This is an even safer way to authenticate. We're going to use GitHub Action plugin from Google called Auth. So for the Google Cloud Platform, GitHub Google provided this plugin. And this is how you can call. And then by passing service account and identity provider, you should have to assess that. And using the output, 
you should be able to authenticate. So instead of offering the file, you can use GitHub Action to plug in to authenticate. That's it. I hope you like watching this video and be sure to like it.